Welcome back to Acronix's lab. I'm Katie Purcell, an application engineering manager here at Acronix. Today, I'm going to demonstrate a design that showcases the Speedster 7T FPGA's revolutionary two dimensional network on chip, or 2D NOC. The benefits of the 2D NOC are significant. In this demo, we'll show a 40% savings of the FPGA logic resources and 40% reduction in compile times compared to using traditional FPGA logic for routing your design. First, let's dig into the details of the design. The demo design generates random data in the FPGA using a transaction generator located in the left side of the device. The output of the generator is sent to a 2D NOC access point or NAP which is the on-ramp to send data across the 2D NOC. Once the data reaches the other side of the FPGA device, it is offloaded to a NAP and sent into a loopback logic function. The data is sent back onto the 2D NOC to the originating NAP. It runs through a transaction checker and bandwidth calculator function in the FPGA logic, which verifies the data was received correctly and calculates the bandwidth of the data transmitted. This demo design is replicated to send traffic from left to right across each of the eight rows and from bottom to top across each of the 10 columns of the 2D NOC. We will now compare the 2D NOC demo design to the same design which uses only FPGA fabric for routing. Data is generated by a transaction generator and routed across the device. Once the data reaches the right edge of the device, it is looped back to the left side of the device. Next, it goes through a transaction checker and bandwidth calculator, which perform the same function as the previous design that uses the 2D knot. This horizontal data path is replicated eight times for each horizontal data transaction and 10 times for each vertical data transaction. The routing paths generated by the place and route algorithm can be anywhere within the FPGA fabric in order to meet timing. Let's take a look at these two designs in our ACE software. The first design we will look at is the one using the FPGA logic and not the 2D knot. Here you can see the complex and irregular routing paths required to route the signals from the 18 transaction generators across the device and back to the original source. Now we will show the floor plan view from the design that utilizes the 2D knot. Here you can see a significant reduction in the amount of logic consumed and just the logic functions in white. In addition to saving FPGA logic, the 2D knock significantly reduces the effort to achieve timing closure while easily achieving the required performance. To help visualize the 2D knock performance, we have a knock performance view integrated into ACE. In this design, the green color indicates bandwidth is sufficient and the design has no performance limitations. Let's now try out the 2D knock design in a Speedster 7T FPGA device. Let's start by programming the FPGA. Next, I will measure the 2D knock performance in ACE. Here we set up the control and status preferences, then run the demo. Here is the performance monitor showing the real time bandwidth of each 2D knock row and column. We added a bandwidth throttling function, which you can see as the red bar progressing through each row and column. This artificially limits the bandwidth in each row and column to show this is functioning in real time. On the bottom, you now see the total row, column, and combined bandwidth that is being used inside the 2D knock. This design uses about 4.6 terabits per second out of a total of 20 terabits per second of the 2D knock bandwidth and leaves significant additional bandwidth for more complex data transfers. The last step is to compare the FPGA utilization in the design that uses the 2D knock 
against the one that uses only FPGA logic for routing. In order to achieve the same total bandwidth, the design that only uses FPGA routing uses 43% more FPGA logic resources. Additionally, the 2D NOC design saved nearly 40% in compile time. Here I have summarized the results of the demo. By using the 2D NOC, designers are able to save greater than 40% of the logic resources that can be used for other value-added IP functions and reduce compile times by nearly 40% while achieving equivalent performance. Thanks for watching our demo of the Speedster 7T 2D NOC. To learn more or to get a copy of this demo design, please contact Acronix.